let's try if this is sharp uh -huh. it it may need a little more stropping sa kabila kulang pa but it will cut definitely yes it will cut and it freaking cut me Hey there everyone, I'm back again with another video about a knife, obviously. And this is one of my latest builds. This is a Chris knife. Now, as you can see, this doesn't look like the conventional, the traditional, customary look of a Chris knife. Some may say that a Chris is not supposed to look this way but mm, what the hell so specs muna tayo this one has a blade length of 9 inches so oh, 9 pala ito. and uh, a handle of uh, 6 inches okay so what do we have here this is a build that I conceptualize na alam nyo naman medyo pag uh, naglilikot yung utak natin uh, or sometimes when I'm bored, I uh, get a pencil and a uh, piece of paper and uh, sketch some knives. Uh, so, this is sa mga na sketch natin, and then I had it uh, forged by my blacksmith into a raw knife. Uh, tayo naman as a blade maker, although I am inspired by the traditional blades of the Philippines and some other international culture. I draw inspiration from them, but I've always wanted to um, uh, modify it according sa kagustuhan ko, according sa what is pleasing to my eye and what is comfortable to my hand. That's where my inclination is. So, yeah, back to the blade. This is a double blade na Chris. So, hidden tang din ito, but uh, medyo makapal ang tang niya at may butas for pins to be installed. So my 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 construction is um nilagyan natin ng guard. This is an aluminum guard. Um dinoblihan ko ng G10 ng natural G10 sheet board something like that. At may spacer na black plastic. Sa handle naman, uh, two piece construction ito no. So this portion here is a padok or rosewood nakahoy kita mo naman itong alaga ko meet moon niya ang napakakulit na maya and then tinusok natin dyan and for this part here I used um, iyum iyum na wood ang ganda ng iyum dahil spalted eh. and this one is a two piece ano ito sandwich I sandwich the tang ito one piece binutasan ko lang na samantalang ito ay two piece. Ang kagandahan ng sandwich type ay mabubutasan mo siya ng para sa pin. So, I have two pins here. So, the tang here hanggang dito yung tang natin mahaba. So, it's gonna make a strong and durable tang. Hindi yung tinutusok lang at sinunog. Binaga lang yung tang. I'm not really a fan of that. So, although this one is a two piece construction, Nakaka-held naman by these pins. Nilagyan ko pa ng mga pins dito sa dulo. And I used epoxy resin sa pagdikit nito. This is, this is very sturdy. You're gonna have to break the wood first bago mo ito ma-tanggal ang pagkadikit. So, I really like the profile of this one. Uh, I'm re also happy with how the handle turned out yung pagka-forma natin there and then I would like to highlight the sheet that I have uh, my leather crafter made so so black ang base nya and uh, meron siyang inlay na python skin o oh, paubos na yung python skin ko so sa tiyan na bahagi ng ano ito ng sawa bigger scales so it's a brown and black combination of leather 
plus this uh, python skin ang strap niya ay python skin din so if uh, you sheet it, it's gonna look like this snap it good there you are oh diba so this one I like uh, to keep it for myself but um if magusto na ito ng mga nasa forum natin or ng mga barkada ko and if the price is good then maybe maybe pwede natin pakawalan <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah tumahirap kasi pagka collector ka rin eh you'd always want to have a good knife in your, included in your collection so hindi naman po pwede na pa bawat gawa natin na hindi natin ibibenta para na tayong hoarder niyan. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe po tayo sa Clam Sharp Stuff. Well, if gusto niyo lang, walang pilitan. <laughs> Stay safe everyone. Stay sharp.